So, I'm not the kind of therapist that pussyfoots around. I like to dig in fast and I give feedback. Stop fidgeting. What are you doing with your arm? Nothing. I'm just nervous. Put your hands in your lap. Focus. Sit up. Good posture sends positive messages to the brain. We're here to work. So, what are your issues? Give them to me. Well, I am sad about this breakup I just went through. She left you? Yes. And now you feel rejected and unlovable and you can't understand why she no longer loves you? Yes. You do know that she's not the only source of love for you in the world. But I want her love. We don't get everything we want in life. You don't get to have her love. That's it. End of story. Next issue. Whew. Um, okay. Um, well, I'm a writer. And I've been struggling to write my second novel. I'm thinking about moving over to writing screenplays. Have you? Not yet. Okay, well, let's talk about the second novel then. Was your father competitive with you growing up? Didn't like your mother showing you too much attention? Mm, a little. He never complimented me. And whenever I hugged my mother, he said that it disturbed him to see me acting like a, like a mom's boy. Well, it's simple then. You can't write a second book because you're afraid to hurt your father. It's a classic Oedipal setup. But how is writing my novel being like Oedipus? Because in doing so, you will surpass your father. Oedipus killed his father and slept with his mother. Success for you is like murder, but you are not a murderer. Huh. Well, thank you. So then what should I do? Just know that you're allowed to write a second book. Your father won't be hurt, and if he is, fuck him. But I love my dad. Well, then don't write a second novel, and don't come whining to me. Next issue. Put the hands in the lap. Focus. Next issue. All right. I put up this thing on Craigslist advertising myself as an unlicensed private detective. I've had a few cases. So what's the problem? Is it wrong? I do say I'm unlicensed. Sounds to me like you're leading a double life. I think that I am. I'm like a Russian doll. There's all these versions of me in me. There's only one you, and he's running away from his life. Oedipus, you know, was the first detective in literature. He uncovered mysteries to find out who he was. I'm sorry, so, so let me just get this straight. I'm not gonna get my girlfriend back. I'm afraid to write my second novel, and I'm a 21st century Oedipus? Yes. Huh. But there is one other thing. I know why you're really here. I'm not an idiot, you know. Your name is on every page. Well, I would have used a false name when I made the appointment, but my insurance are sticklers, and you, so you know about me and Claudia. Yes. And you're not mad? I thought she was 21. We did only kiss. She's very mature for her age. I promise you, I only kissed her. I'm not mad at you. My daughter's precocious and wild, like my ex-wife. She likes to sleep with boys in my office, Electro Complex, so I don't blame you. Thank you, but we did only kiss. Also, I don't mix my personal life and my work life. This office is my professional domain, a sanctuary where clients can be safe, and you're a client, even though you're here under false pretenses. I'm sorry. But outside these doors, I would cease to be a therapist. I would become a father. I understand. Considering the circumstances, I want to end the session now. <sighs> Thank you. So, why were you so hell-bent on getting this script back? Well, because I have a chance to work with Jim Jarmusch, and if I do, my whole life could change. Oh, sounds like an illusion to me. Lives don't change. We simply become more comfortable with our core misery, which is a form of happiness. Right. <laughs> Thank you for being so understanding about everything. One last thing. Yeah. If you go near my daughter again, I'll break your fucking neck. Oh. Same time next week.